Good morning, guys. It is cold. I got the Jeep running. I got the heat on. And this is a terrible way to spend a Monday. Going to work and... I mean, it ain't even Monday. It's Tuesday, but it's my Monday. It's still... It's just a terrible way to spend a Monday or a Tuesday. Outside. Oh, it's... I'm a southern boy, so... I ain't even... I wasn't even... I didn't grow up in the south. Uh, kind of. Missouri, Midwest. You know, and I'm, I should be used to cold weather, but... After being here for nine years, I'm like, no, hell no, we ain't used to cold weather. I come from tropical people, you know. <laughs> Not really, but still. And this morning I made a boo-boo. So when it's really cold like this, you should actually like, you know, turn your system on and slowly roll into your base knob a little bit to get a little heat in your coils. Uh because they get condensation on them and soft metals like expand and shrink a little bit and temps uh so it's always a good deal you know so as you got to sub with a tight coil gap to get a little heat in them before you play but i full tilted these things on some tiktok videos i don't know i just they're they're good yeah i didn't hurt anything no pro probably probably did I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, damn, I don't really have a great video subject for you this morning because nobody's been dropping comments telling me things they want to know. I mean, I did have somebody asking about uh, quarter waves and, well, it was more of a cabin, like cabin size and effects. And I've kind of covered that in a lot of videos without even trying to cover it, you know. Because, like, this Jeep has a smaller cabin, and you've all, you've seen the windows in this Jeep. But we're gonna, we're gonna film. Yeah, I got this little thing here. But, hey, these still work in my Jeep. I actually put these things in. Oh, that's cold. And then, God, that's a tiny window. And that tiny window is why my Jeep actually doesn't like to float stuff. Uh, the only things my Jeep will float are really heavy. Other than that, it just blows them away. Yeah, if it's uh, anything light, like lighter than a t-shirt, it, it'll just blow it away. And even uh, t-shirts, like I have loaded a lot of t-shirts in here. Even doing that, uh, sometimes I have to roll my base knob down from where I'm demoing to get it to stay there. Because small cabin, it builds a lot of, like, pressure in here. And when you try to float something, it just, like, whoosh, it's gone. That's why you see a lot of people that have smaller systems that can actually float. And, like, no walls and stuff. Because it doesn't really take a whole lot. I mean, it takes pressure, but not, like, a whole lot of pressure. Uh, which a lot of them no walls that float stuff are really impressive, you know, even if it's just a little float towel. The Jeep, it can't float a float towel. It doesn't like it. it it'll blow it like 10 feet that way. And these small windows are really, really bad because you see that little smoker vent up front. That is where you see every car float things is right up there at where that little wing vent window is at. So that really makes it hard for me to float stuff in here. Uh, I've done all kind of weird stuff. Like I've done the a, a donut pillow. That was really hard to float. That thing was really heavy, but it had that hole right in the middle. So it couldn't like, the pressure couldn't catch it and keep it up. It just went straight through it. I floated a little teddy bear like that big. And if you know anything about floating, little things are way harder to float than big things. I, mean, I could have floated a stuffed bear like you know huge way easier than that little teddy bear uh then full size pillow this jeep will float a pillow in a minute uh, but it just it likes to float heavier things because anything should ride it blow away so when you get into cabin area of course this jeep has small cabin short dash which is really really good uh it, do, it creates way too much to window, and that's due to window size and window shape. 
but every vehicle is different guys uh there's really no way to answer that question because what works in one vehicle ain't gonna work in another and i've gave this same scenario a ton because my wife has that s10 blazer and i've been fighting it tooth and nail because honestly it has the worst the worst things going on possible it's got a long dash a bigger cabin in front of the enclosure than this jeep way bigger i like, think it's got leg room in it which is nice it's got long doors with big old windows that are, it's like all open window. It don't have that little wing vent in the front, which that's a plus not having that wing vent, but the downfall is the window so huge for the amount of cabin and everything. Uh, so the port velocity in there, how it affects with the cabin is there's just so much cabin there. Uh, you essentially with both windows down in that vehicle, it's like just this port being out in the open, which is, you know, I've been trying to learn everything I can about six orders, and this is a lot of stuff that, that a lot of people just don't know. I mean, there's guys that are probably designing enclosures for people that have no clue about this stuff. They don't even stop and think, like, wait a minute, how is this enclosure gonna work in that cabin area? It don't even cross their mind. And I, I will tell you, it, it didn't cross my mind when I built the blazer. So now, you know, I'm having to like, I took all these steps forward. Now I'm having to take like 25 steps back and actually like sit down and, and do that thinking pose. Like what the hell, you know, but that's just how it is. Uh, I don't know guys, this video might suck today because like I said, I've kind of covered this, but honestly it was one of the only things people wanted to know in the comments. Other the only other thing I ever get is how to design a sixth order, and that's just stuff that I don't feel like talking about a lot of the time because, you know, when it comes to the subject we're discussing right now, uh, you're, you're going to screw up. <laughs> if you don't know much about sixth orders or you've never built one, you're probably going to screw up because you're going to wind up building an enclosure that does not do right in your vehicle, and... You know, it's really, right now with me, I have people hitting me up for designs for six orders. And before you feel like doing that, keep in mind, I don't send you like a cut sheet for your vehicle. I don't send you none of that. You know, I need you to go out there and measure your vehicle and kind of tell me how many cubes you can pull out of it gross, like width, height, front to back safely with your seat all the way back you know and I, i'm just gonna tell you like this many cubes this many cubes this much port area that is all i give people because i'm i don't have a cad program where i sit down and like model it to your vehicle and get you a fancy printout if you know how to build you don't need that shit uh but we got that going on and the problem is now i kind of had to research the cabin area of a vehicle to get the port areas because like i said after the blazer it has me resecking everything i'm doing god blazers are terrible yeah but anyway guys i hope, I hope this video teaches somebody something or at least gets you thinking uh i wish i had a better subject for the day god i'm never gonna get that emmy <laughs> But anyway, I hope y'all stay warm today, guys. And I know a lot of my people that watch this, you know, you're up in areas where you got a lot of snow and stuff. Be safe out driving. I wish we got snow here. Uh, not for the blue Jeep, definitely. I would never take the blue Jeep out in snow. Uh, reason being, I have a locker in the back that's like, it, it's it's a, a nice posi unit for both tires to spin. And I have like a ratchet locker in the front and this thing would do terrible. My little black Jeep would be awesome though, but this thing on snow, it would pull posse on front and back and just be off the road in a ditch. But anyway, guys, everybody have a great day. Peace out. Thank you for watching, guys. And as always, base on.